tell the truth about your pain because it is the only way to purge it from your soul. Your life matters to everyone you love, everyone who loves you, everyone who cares about you, and people you haven't even met yet. Kevin Hines jumped off the Golden Gate Bridge and survived. It was both the worst and the best day of his life. He says that the minute he jumped, he deeply regretted what he had done. And he says that a vast majority of survivors say the same thing. He is on a mission to stop and to save as many people as he can. And he joins us in a moment with his important story. It comes during a shocking week as we have lost two bright lights. Designer Kevin designer Kate Spade at 55, and celebrity chef and author and TV host Anthony Bourdain at the age of 61. A new report from the CDC shows that suicide rates have gone up 25% since 1999. It's now the 10th leading cause of death in the United States, claiming nearly 45,000 lives in 2016 alone. Here now to share his story with us is Kevin Hines. Kevin, good evening, and thank you so much for being here. I, I want to start with, with your remarkable story. You jumped, and yet you survived. How? I did. I attempted to take my life in a way that is 99% fatal. Uh, over 3,000 people have likely died off the Golden Gate Bridge. I'm one of 36 to have been given the gift of a second chance to survive. Uh, and I believe that suicide is basically the same thing as lethal emotional pain, uh, a pain so great that it leads you to believe you are worthless, less than, and have no value, and that you are a burden to all who love you, which is all false. You are beautiful just as you are. You are enough, and you are important, and you matter. But some people don't recognize that inside the pain. I don't, I don't Those are the most important messages, I think, that you could possibly tell anybody who is feeling the kinds of things that you were feeling. Tell everybody at home what happened, what intervened in, in your attempt to take your own life that left you able to stand here today and talk to so many mm. others. So of the 36 Golden Gate Bridge jump survivors, five of us have regained full physical mobility, the ability to walk, run, uh, and stride, and that is uh, a gift in itself. And I can tell you that when I attempted to take my life, the millisecond my hands left the rail, it was an instant regret from my actions. Countless people, over hundreds of thousands of people, have claimed that in the millisecond they thought they were going to die after their attempt, all they desperately wanted to do was live. It's a common thread in suicidal ideation because people don't recognize that your thoughts do not have to become your actions. But if we can, in suicidal crisis, recognize that our thoughts don't have to own, rule, or define us, we can always stay here. My friends, I live with chronic suicidal thoughts. They plague me. I'll never die that way, because every time they occur, I'll turn to the person to my right or to my left, and I will say four words that matter. I need help now, and I will always survive the pain. Now, given that, I attempted, and what saved me in the water is I flailed to stay afloat and couldn't stay above water. A sea lion came to my aid, circled beneath me, bumping me up until the Coast Guard boat arrived behind you, me. And, and for me, that is my miracle. I got to live here because a creature saw me in danger and acted immediately. And to me, that's like my guardian angel yeah. who saved me that day, uh, along with the Coast Guard who pulled me out of the water, mm -hmm. along with the back doctor who gave me the ability to walk and run and stand. Yeah, so. and I know you said that he wasn't supposed to be on that day, and he was. You had a confluence right. of events that saved you, and I love the, mm. the sea lion part of the story because I can just imagine him buoying up under the water, coming out of somewhere um, to be able to, to bolster you in that moment when you needed it mm. so much. So many people are feeling uh, so much from, from what happened this week with, with Kate Spade and with Anthony Bourdain. What do you say to them about, you know, uh, about how to respond to that when we don't really know the person? We don't know them. We know of them. And I have to tell you, in this celebrity-obsessed culture, uh, not to offend anybody, but we are obsessed with celebrity in this culture a bit too much. And when someone in this high profile, like Anthony, uh, like Kate, uh, dies by their hands, it sends this ripple effect around the world of immeasurable pain. And when we allow that ripple effect to damage our children, that's when we have a massive problem. I'm so sorry to Anthony and Kate's family and friends, Chris Purnell, uh, Chester Bennington's family and friends. We, we loved them very much. We loved all the work they did because we were so closely tied to the work they did and how their work affected us. It becomes personal, it, it, at least emotionally it does. So all the people that are watching this show right now who are in crisis, who are in that kind of pain, who are suicidal, there are millions of you around the world. This is what I have to say. 
contact the crisis text line. Text CNQR to 741-741 right now if you're in crisis. They'll be with you in seconds to minutes. CNQR to 741-741. That CNQR is important. It stands for conquer. Conquer your pain. You can defeat the pain. You can live with the pain. You can fight the pain in spite of the pain and despite of the pain. You can thrive today, but you have to recognize your value, how much you matter to the people around you and how much you should matter to you and that your life means something and it's not to ever be meant to die by suicide. You're meant to live this life, to fight the pain, to thrive someday and give back to this world somehow. Kevin, thank you so much. I believe that you were spared uh, to be able to spread this message, and I know that you are saving lives when people listen to what you're saying. I thank you very much for being here tonight. Your thoughts are thank not, you for do not have me. to define you. Yeah, yeah. thank you, you, you so much. You're so welcome, Kevin. Thank you so much. So as he mentioned, if you or a loved one need emotional support, call the National Suicide Prevention Lifeline at 1-800-273-TALK for free confidential help 24 hours a day, seven days a week. That is a beginning to tomorrow for so many.